Why did tracing stop? Welcome to this T1 video. Have you ever wondered why the T1 tracing did seem to hold spontaneously without any interaction on the PC side? In this video I want to explain the background of this and explain the use case of T1 scope and T1 cont working together. I will also show you how you can find out more about the reason why the tracing did hold in your case. When you look at the T1 GUI, you can see in the target control area under T1 scope the state of the T1 target software on each core. The turning circles indicate that the T1 target software is tracing. T1 scope and T1 cont work perfectly together so that you can use T1 cont for continuous supervision of timing results on the target. And in case of a constraint violation, the tracing can be halted. The halting occurs when the trigger is issued on the target side. This is usually done by calling the T1 target software function T1 set stop trigger. When the tracing halts, this means that the contents of the trace buffer is frozen and can be downloaded to the PC side over your selected target interface. Therefore, if you observe that the tracing holds without any interaction from the PC side, then this is an expected behavior and it is probably quite interesting for you to find out why the tracing did hold in your case. As you can see, the tracing is currently running. Now let's wait a moment and see if the tracing holds spontaneously on the target side. Now we saw that the tracing moved into the halted state, visualized here by the uh, orange circles. Also, T1 indicates that now the contents of the trace buffer should be downloaded. So by clicking on this download button here, I can download the trace buffer contents of all of the four cores. Once the download is finished, I see the trace being visualized here. Additionally, each trace contains a green marker, which indicates the point when the trigger did occur on the target. Now let's investigate if we see anything interesting here. Nothing special on core 0, neither on core 1. However, when we look at core 2, we see here an entry of a user event called t one con cpu load callback for core 2. This is just next to the point indicating the moment when the trigger was issued. Therefore, this tells us that the tracing did hold because of a CPU load threshold violation. The value 5F indicates that the CPU load determined here is 95%, which corresponds to the limit which is configured here in T1Cont. Similarly, a constraint violation can be the cause for the halting of the tracing. This means a configured limit of a timing parameter has been exceeded and T1 cont notes this and issues a trigger. Finally, a third reason why tracing could halt is a T1 cont error. Here we have an example where the tracing halted again on the target side, so let's download the trace buffers and see what we can see in there. Again, we look at core 0, core 1, and uh, core 2, where we actually see a T1 cont error callback user event being shown on core 2. 
from the value 83 the bit 7 indicates that the t1cont overrun error did occur. This led to the halting of the tracing in this case. This t1cont overrun is also indicated by the red OVR flag here being shown in the t1cont table view. I hope that this video helps you to find out why the tracing did hold in your particular case. Remember, whenever the tracing holds spontaneously on the target side, then do a download of the trace buffers and look for user events which indicate the reason for the halting.